everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be another summer haul. Today's summer haul is simply fun games. You guys, I have a stack of games in front of me and I cannot wait to show them with you, I'm so excited. But first, I wanted to remind you that each of these summer haul videos has a coordinating giveaway happening on my Instagram page. And you're not gonna wanna miss this week's because it is literally for half of the games you're gonna see in today's video. So make sure you head over there and enter to win because if you're excited about this video, you'll be excited about that giveaway. I also wanted to tell you guys that when I was picking out games because Simply Fun makes it so hard to choose, I tried really hard to pick games that I knew we would use or we would more than likely use in our fourth grade homeschool year. It's really easy for me to pick all the games because that is my kryptonite, games are my weakness, but I tried to pick things that either were going to coordinate with a unit study that I knew we were going to be doing or covered a skill topic or concept that I knew I wanted her to master in fourth grade because I've already made or I've made the general list of our fourth grade goals and so I know most of what I want her to be able to master or be better at. So that is what most of these games were purchased with the intention of. That being said, that doesn't mean they won't work for you or your kids if they're in a different grade. That's just what that was just my intention when I went to shop. Okay, that's my disclaimer. So now let's get to the games. The first thing I picked up hands down, I got so excited when I saw it was packet because this goes so so well with our survival unit study because you are using the cards in the game to pack a backpack. So things like a flashlight, water, pots, walking stick, etc. You are packing your backpack and then when your backpack is packed, you're going for a hike. And whoever hikes the furthest wins and there are certain ways to add up the miles that you're hiking. So it tied in perfect with our survival unit. Plus, there was like some sneaky stealth math in there because you have to add your miles. And I love it when games do that. I love more than anything when a game fits in with the topic or theme of our unit study and then happens to also sneak in some math or language art skills that we probably should be working on as well. Like that's just a double win. So this one was a double win. Next up, I grabbed or I'm gonna knock games off. Next up, I grabbed Global Ranking because I wanted this one to go with our Traveling the World. Now we were gonna do Traveling the World last year. We got to some of it, we didn't get to all of it. So we're still working our way through that. And I knew that this game would be really, really fun for that because it's all about geography and demographics and you know world geography and world demographics. And I just knew that it would be perfect. So it was purchased with that intention um, to go with Traveling the World. Now they also have another really fun game. If you are doing Traveling the World and you happen to look at Simply Fun, it's called Let's Jet. And that is a really, really fun game that's the whole world too. We already own that one or I would have also purchased it to go with that. Rolling Tides was not really purchased with a unit study or anything specific in mind other than the fact that we live in Florida. We will be taking a week-long beach vacation, so we're taking this with us. And the gameplay um, is a spatial reasoning type of gameplay. And there is no company, in my opinion, that does that better than Simply Fun. They've done it with Phantom Seas, with um, Night Lights, both of which are our top, like we absolutely love them, um, Marble Run, they're all, or Marble Matrix, they're all some of our favorite Simply Fun games, so they just, they do that type of game so well that when I saw this one, I was like, well, it's Oceans, which is something that while we may not be doing a huge unit study on it, we are, we kind of do all the time. It's very, very easy to weave into our lives because the beach is less than 45 minutes away, well, 45 minutes to an hour away. And we just love this gameplay. So that was another one that I know Brainer had to have. Okay, we are going to do, we'll do math first. Viniculum. This is the game of fractions. So what is so fun about this game is you flip a fraction over and let's just say for instance it says two fourth. You have to find the equivalent fraction flipped over and slap it first and whoever slaps it first wins. What I love about that is that you're slapping equivalent fraction. So you have to know that two fourths is the same as one half. And 
that's just something that I think we need to work on. And this game does that in a really, really fun way. So I'm excited for that. I love when we can do math concepts that we need to be working on anyway in fun ways like playing games. Isle of Coconuts. So this one, your monkeys are jumping onto number of palm trees competing for coconuts and you have to add the dice up in different ways to place the most monkeys on the tree. And so that was something else I wanted us to work on is knowing that um, math can be manipulated in different ways in order of operations and you know just all of those kinds of things so this is addition but it's really really quick like you have to be mental i mean you could do it slower but i want her to be quick about it and get that mental math down really well and i want her to manipulate the math problems and become more familiar with them and really work it to her advantage um in this game so that was one of the reasons that we got that one next up is front runner this you guys, seriously, I can't even explain to you how excited I was about this. Emily loves horses. So anything that can be horses and maths, it's like a double win. And this is math that I think she would probably be a little scared of if it didn't include horses. Because you are rolling dice and you are filling in the problems with those numbers and solving it. So this is going to be order of operations, factors. It's even gonna be a little bit of pre-algebra because they're having to do equations that you're solving for a specific number and filling them in. And you know, it kind of gets you familiar with solving for N, et cetera. I am so excited that it will be a way for us to do all of those things through a game and through a game that involves horses. And then obviously the first horse across the finish line wins. So it is literally a horse race. All right, language arts. The first game that I picked up was Alphabet Woods. Now this game is for a little bit younger of an audience. It's like five plus, but when Emily alphabetizes, she still has to sing her ABCs and there, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I have to do that sometimes, but I want her to like know it, right? I want her to know that B comes between A and C. And this is a game where the trees grow in an alphabetical, like alphabetically. So everything about this game is alphabetical order. I mean, it's sequencing, alphabetizing, etc. So I thought it would be a really fun way to practice alphabetizing without it being like monotonous. Like here's a word, where does it go? So just another way to practice a skill that I know we need practice at in a hands-on fun way. Okay, next up is Word Bits. I'm super excited for this one because I, I personally love word games. Like, they're my jam. But this is a game where you pull a card, a category card, that would say something like anything about cars. And then you roll your three dice and you have to think fast to call out a word that contains all of the letters of the dice. So the example that they use is engine. They rolled an E, an N, and a G. So they use the word engine because it met the category and it had those letters in it. Now I'm going to take this game a step further and I am going to add something that I just purchased for Emily, which is a mini boogie board. You guys, this is like the size of my hand. It's tiny and Emily has an obsession with tiny things. Um, it also happens to be pink, which is her favorite color, but I'm going to add this mini boogie board so that she can write down the word because we will more than likely not race because that doesn't make it fair because me and Kevin would obviously be better at this than her. So we will probably just take turns. We'll see. I haven't played it yet, but I picked this up for that purpose of her writing the words versus just having to call them out. Um, for multiple things. Blurt is another game that we play a lot. It's not simply fun. It's about educational insights, but we use boogie boards for that as well because you can write the word um, and that gets us practicing spelling and writing. So this game paired with this adorable little boogie board will have us doing vocabulary, spelling, and writing. And I love it when a game can do that. So if your kids like little mini things, I'll put a link to this in the description box. It's adorable. Um, I ended up buying all of us one, so we would have them for game nights. Okay, the last like 
well, no, it's not even the last. I can't even tell you that, you guys. Stargazer is up next. This is another one that deals with spatial reasoning. Again, nobody does spatial reasoning quite like Simply Fun. And you have to add up the patterns that you make. So it will have some math in it as well. Um, the main reason I picked this up is we are planning our first big unit. There will be so many more details to come, but our first big unit of the upcoming school year will be a really big astronomy unit study. So that was the main reason I picked this one up and it just so happened that it's the spatial reasoning type of gameplay that we love. Same thing with this one, Space It. It was a space game, so we had to have it. And it just so happens to be dealing with math, sequencing, and patterns because you have to make your cards make different patterns. So it will also be dealing with skip counting and factors and probably a little bit of multiplication because you would be learning your multiplication when you're playing that game. So those are other ones that are double wins because they'll go with our unit study but cover other mathematical topics as well. Okay, so now the last two games we picked up were Kevin's Picks, which I was actually super, super, super happy. One was Archibutes. This way we could make sure we were getting a little more art into our school days. You draw three cards from the deck and then you pick two of them to use while you draw um, something. So you can see here the example was soft and cuddly and they drew a kitten. And then um, your other players have to guess what it is you're drawing. So we just thought this would be a really fun way to get, you know, a little bit of art into our homeschool days. And then the last one he picked out was Foodle. This game is trivia based, but it helps you learn portion sizes, nutritional facts, and how to make healthy choices. And it's, this is something we haven't done a ton with in our homeschool. So I was really excited when he found this one. And... It's trivia based and you guys know that we are a trivia loving family. So there's that. Now there is one more game left, but we did not specifically pick this one out. It was one of the games that you got for free when you purchased a certain amount. I don't even know what the certain amount was um, when whatever month I purchased it. I don't remember if we got this at the end of May or the beginning of June. So you may or may not still be able to get this one as your freebie, but it is fruit flies. So it was in the box. As a freebie, again, we didn't specifically pick it out, but it looks like a lot of fun. It focuses on memory, self-control, comparing, um, and it looks like a fun short game. It plays in less than 15 minutes. So it probably is gonna be one of those games that ends up in my purse for traveling. That is all of the Simply Fun games I have to show you today, but I want you to see what you will win if you head over to Instagram and enter that giveaway. You will have a chance to win Foodle, Attributes, Rolling Tides, Global Ranking, Isle of Coconuts, and Word Bits for yourself.